Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Ru Suhail and you are watching Arkan Times Daily English News. Today is Monday 8 July 2024. Today's news headlines. Two Rohingyas were died and dozens of Rohingyas got serious injuries in Mongda Township. One Rohingya died and two more Rohingyas injured in landmine explosion in Bangladesh territory. Terrorism group AI is torturing the parents of Rohingya youths in northern Mongda Township. Details of today's news. Terrorism group AI intentionally attacked the Dayu hamlet in Ward No. 1 in Mongda Township with lash weapons and it caused Rohingyas died and injured on 7 July 2024 at about 3 o'clock in the evening. Two Rohingyas were died on the spot and a dozen of Rohingyas got serious injuries in the explosion of heavy weapons in the Yua hamlet in Ward No. 1 in Mongda Township on 7 July at about 3 o'clock in the evening. A resident stated that terrorism group A deliberately fired many large weapons in Rohingya residential areas in Ward No. 1 since 2 o'clock in the evening on 7 July. And suddenly, a large weapon landed beside the mocks in Dayo hamlet in Ward No. 1, and it killed two Rohingyas on the spot and a dozen got serious injuries. The large weapon landed over the host of Rohingya and it killed two Rohingyas and injured a dozen and the home was destroyed too. The source recounted that amongst the injured Rohingyas, there are four women who are in serious condition as they obtained heavy injuries. Their situation seems they will be no more. Many Rohingyas are daily being killed and injured seriously due to the continuous drone attacks and large weapons attack by terrorism group AA in downtown of Mongdo and the situation of downtown Mongdo is aggravating day by day. One Rohingya refugee was died on the spot and two more Rohingya refugees were obtained serious injuries in landmine explosion in the territory of Bangladesh on 7th of July at approximately 2.30 o'clock in the evening. Three Rohingya refugees went to catch crabs in Laldia Island in the Naf River, located between Bangladesh and Mema border on 7th July 2024. Suddenly, three of them were in a landmine explosion and amongst them one was died on the spot and two others were in serious injuries. The Rohingya refugee who was died on the spot in landmine explosion while attempting to catch grabs in Laldia Island is identified as Muhammad Zubar, about 18 years old and he is resident of FDMN Camp No. 27 in Bangladesh. The other two Rohingya refugees who obtained deep injuries in landmine explosion in Laldia Island while attempting to catch grabs are identified as Muhammad Abdul Shukur, about 20 years, and Shalom. And they are also dwellers of refugee camp number 27 in Cox Bazar, Bangladesh. Amongst the two injured Rohingya refugees, Shalom obtained very serious injuries and he has been admitted at Cox Bazar Hospital and he is undergoing treatments there. Muhammad Abdul Shukur, who also obtained injury, is admitted at TDH hospital in refugee camp and he is obtaining treatments there. The dead body of Muhammad Zubar and the two injured Rohingya refugees were discovered by the fishermen in the Naf River and they carried them in camp and admitted at hospital. The planting of landmines and other explosives by terrorism group A poses a severe threat to vulnerable Rohingya fishermen. It is known that the parents of those Rohingya youths whose sons were forcibly recruited from northern Mongda Township, Arkana State of Memor, are being brutally tortured by terrorism group AA. Some Rohingya youths under the age of 18 who were forcibly recruited by terrorism group AA from various villages in the northern Mongda Township fled away from the base camp of terrorism group AA. The parents of those Rohingya youths who fled away from the base camp of terrorism group AA were arrested and detained in the base camp of terrorism group AA. Terrorism group AA intimidatingly told to the parents of the fled Rohingya youths from the base camp of terrorism group AA that you have to live here until your children come back here and if your children will not come back here, we will kill all of you one by one.
The parents of the forcibly recruited Rohingya youths who were detained by terrorism group A are not allowed to meet with anyone in the custody and they are being treated inhumanly. Thanks for watching our Times Daily English News.